Hello all, welcome to our channel. So today we are going to discuss about decision tree analysis. So this is our third problem. Just have a look to the previous problem which will get you a basic idea of how the preparation of decision tree analysis should be. Here the sum goes with Anil has two investment option but he can take up only one option at a time. Option one, he can start a restaurant for an investment of 8 lakh. What is this 8 lakh? 8 lakh is an original investment. The outcome will be a success if it is a probability of 90% with a cash inflow of 10 lakh. So now the diagram should come in your mind. 10 lakh into 90% if it is a success. If he fails, he incurs a loss of rupees 2 lakh. Be very, very careful friends. Whenever there is a terminology of loss, it is just not 2 lakh. It is minus 2 lakh. Once again, if this gets succeeds, okay, he decided to open a fast food joint for 6 lakh. Okay. When he is getting try to open, only when this venture is succeeded. And also here, please remember, if the probability of 90% is a success, out of 100, if 90 is success, 10% is called failure. If fast food joint is once again a success, they are telling the outcome would be a success if it is a probability of 70% with a cash inflow of rupees 8 lakh. If fast food joint is success, so they are telling the success ratio is 70%. Obviously, if it is a failure, it is 3 lakhs. So this 3 lakhs will be 30%. How did you get to know sir? it is 30%? Out of 100, if 70% is a success, what is the remaining value? The remaining value is 30% which is being called as failure. Coming for an option 2. He can start a ready-made dress showroom for rupees 8 lakhs. So this 8 lakhs is once again called as an original investment. The outcome will be a success which has a probability of 80% with a cash inflow of rupees 11 lakh. So if the probability of success is 80%, very simple, the failure would be termed as 20%. Have you got this 20% is 100 minus 80%. Draw a decision tree and advise Anil on the most profitable option to undertake. And also remember, whenever you have a salvage, it is not minus. So the terminology would be in plus only. Okay. So given with and two options, you got to know. So he has a restaurant, original investment is 8 lakhs. If it is a success of probability of 90% into 10 lakh. If it is a failure, it is 2 lakh into 10%. Further, if it gets succeeded, he will start with a fast food joint at a rate of 6 lakh rupees. And once again, if that fast food joint is success, so then success probability is 70% with an inflow of 8 lakhs. If it is a failure, it is a salvage of 3 lakhs. Coming to an option two, so he will start with the ready-made dress showroom, so which is at the original investment of 8 lakhs. If the outcome is a success, the probability is 80% into 11 lakh. If it is a failure, if it is a failure, 20% into 5 lakh. So based on that, now we are supposed to prepare a decision tree and advise Anil which is the better option, whether it is an option one or whether it is an option two. So now we will prepare a decision tree based on the given question which has been asked. So carefully listen how this could be drawn or how better we can understand to solve this. Okay. So we will start with our calculation of decision tree. So we have to take a proper decision. So decision goes in such a way we will consider this as A1. So this we will consider it as A2. The question said in a very simple way that there is something called as original investment. Okay. So what is that original investment which was being provided? So the original investment for both the places that is for A1 and as well as A2 was 8 lakh rupees. So we will mention it here which is 8 lakhs and which is 8 lakhs. 
once again for a better understanding this is your option a and this is your option b okay so this is your option b according to anil so this is our option a okay so now we will start with uh, going for option a so option a what did he say in option a he told so we will go with starting of an restaurant business okay so now we will check whether it is a success or a failure whether it is a success or a failure if it is a success they told it is 0.9 at a rate of 10 lakh rupees if it is a failure they have utilized the terminology of failure so here failure is not just failure it is also a loss so whenever there is a amount of loss which is been given so we will use the terminology as 2 lakh failure at what percentage at a percentage of 10% which is written as 0.1 why 0.9 you wrote so 90% is called as 0.9 which is 90 by 100 so which is called as 0.9 so this we will consider it as e1 for our easy understanding then we will calculate the payoffs later first we will draw the diagram which is a tree this we will consider it as e2 so further if you remember a question so they told if it is a success then we will start with a fast food joint what we will do we will start with a fast food joint at a rate of 6 lakh rupees we will start a fast food joint okay so this we will name it as a so a1 a2 already we have written so we'll write it as a3 because this is a new option a3 as we are doing for option a we will give it as 1 so it is a3 1 okay now further he told or given in the problem if this fast food joint is a success so we have to go ahead if this fast food joint is a success then it is 0.7 the value is 8 lakh if it is a failure if it is a failure then it is 0.3 value is 3 lakhs okay once again for our simple understanding e1 and e2 is there we will make this as e3 and e4 this is the first part coming to the second part so second part was also quite a simple one he wanted to start the second option so in the second option they were ready to start a ready made dress showroom what was it ready made dress showroom okay so in this the options were only two so you could easily go ahead with so what are those two options one was if it is a success 80% so 0.8 the amount was 11 lakh 11 lakh this we will make a note it as e5 if it is a failure it was 5 lakhs at a probability of 0.2 this we will make it as <coughs> e6 so this this is the decision tree which we are done with right now so once after this decision tree is done so now we have to calculate the payoffs okay now we have to calculate the payoffs so the first payoff i will calculate right here so that would be easy for our understanding okay so once this tree is done so i told you have to calculate for payoff so from where we will calculate this so have a look here first we will calculate e3 
then we will calculate E4. Why we are doing this from here? Because if we add this E3 plus E4, E3 plus E4, then we will get a value for this A31, that is 6 lakh rupees. Okay. So then once we calculate for this, we will get to know whether it is a profit or a loss. If it is a profit, then we will add the investment for this 10 lakh. If it is a loss, we will subtract with this 10 lakhs. Okay. So we will just have a look. So how this could be done in a further way. Now we will go for calculation of calculation of payoffs value. So calculation of E3 and calculation of E4. How to calculate E3? 8 lakhs into 0 0.7. For E4, it is 3 lakhs into 0 0.3. What is 8 lakhs into 0 0.7? 5,60,000, 3 lakhs into 0 0.3, which is 90,000. You add both, you will get 6,50,000. What was the investment for a fast food joint, which was 6 lakh? But what is that we have got? It is 6,50,000. So what is that we will do now? We will subtract. We will take 6,50,000 minus minus so the only investment for a fast food joint was 6 lakhs so this 50,000 this 50,000 is a benefit or a profit which we have got so through this 50,000 whatever we have got this is the amount of profit so this would be added with this 10 lakh rupees. Okay. Why is that? Because this is that particular success what we have got. So this is plus 10 lakh. Now, now, now be very careful. It is 10 lakh 50,000. Look here. They told if it was a success, it is 10 lakh rupees. But right now after this fast food joint, which was being started by Anil, so once that is a successful venture, he had got a profit of 50,000 from that. Then after adding that to 10 lakh rupees, so the value is 10 lakh 50,000. So the current value for the calculation of E1, what we are doing is the total is 10 lakh 50,000. So from here, further we will go ahead, calculate and look after which is the best venture for our necessary. Okay. So coming from here for the calculation, so the next part of the calculation is quite simple because already important part we calculated E1 is equal to, you got to know it is 10,50,000. As it is a successful one, which was 90%, so 0 0.9 into multiply 10,50,000, you will get 9,45,000. 9,45,000. 45,000 in a same way we will calculate for E2 which was minus 2 lakhs into 0 0.1 which is minus 20,000 in a same way we will also calculate payoff for E5 and also for E6. E5 is the second option, I think, if you remember, which was 11 lakh into 0 0.8, which is 8 lakh 80,000. Then for E6, it was 5 lakh into 0 0.2, which is 1 lakh. If you add both, the total value is 9,80,000. So this is for EY and E6, which is for option 2. Okay. So here the left part, what we had calculated, this is for option 1. 9,45,000 minus 20,000 will get you 9,25,000. Okay. So for a better clarity, 
this was for option 2 and this was for option 1 okay once this is done so now we are supposed to go for the calculation of emb that is expected monetary value what is the formula for this expected monetary value which you are supposed to go ahead with so already you have a total calculation which has been provided here which is 9,25,000 okay minus the original investment which needs to be taken place so the formula is total payoff total payoff minus original investment or the initial investment so we will calculate for the first one emv that is expected monetary value for a1 the total payoff is 9,25,000 the original investment is 8 lakhs if you subtract it is 1,25,000 rupees same way expected monetary value for A2 the values are 9,80,000 here also original investment was 8 lakhs minus 8 lakhs which is 1,80,000 rupees so now you had two options A1 a2 so going into these two options so first one said we will go with an restaurant then the second option was ready-made dress showroom comparing to both therefore coming to a decision a1 a2 a2 needs to be selected because when you compare the profit amount of 1 lakh 80 and 1 lakh 25 thousand so the best is 1 lakh 80 thousand is the best which is a2 okay so what should anil do therefore anil has to therefore anil has to go ahead with go ahead with ready-made dress showroom ready-made dress Thank you. Have a nice day.